Double handoff, back to Penix it goes, gonna throw it to McMillan. So that's your forward pass, and it works. And it's going to the house, touchdown Washington. He wants a deep shot, again and he's got McMillan. Jalen McMillan, goodbye, touchdown. We saw him last week at the Reese's Senior Bowl in Mobile. We're talking to him again. Daniel Jeremiah, Andrew Siciliano, Super Bowl Live with the Washington quarterback getting ready for the draft, Michael Penix Jr. Michael, have you allowed yourself? Because last week in Mobile, we talked about all the players that have gone right from the Senior Bowl to NFL stardom or, or like Rasheed Rice right to the Super Bowl. Have you allowed your mind to go there this week when you're in Vegas? Uh, man, I've been enjoying it. You know, I've been enjoying every part of it. You know, the, being at the Senior Bowl, it was an amazing experience. You know, I was super blessed to be able, be able to be a part of that. And uh, to be out here in Vegas, you know, uh, doing 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 a show with you today, man, it, it's it's a blessing, man. I'm super excited for it all. So. Michael, it's been fun to, to visit with you before the season uh, on the Movie Sticks podcast, and we got a chance to visit with you in Mobile this last week. You always strike me as somebody who's always learning, always growing. What did you take from last week? What did you learn from that week at the Senior Bowl? Yeah, man, um, the biggest thing, you know, going into it, you know, I, I knew that, you know, for the competition-wise, you know, I wanted to be a part of that so that I can just show that I, I'm willing to co compete, you know, compete at the highest level, you know. So it's like you got the best players from their teams in each position, you know, out there competing, you know, each and every day at the practices. You know, it was, it was an amazing experience, you know, and to be able to, to be out there in front of different teams, you know, uh, j just showing what I could do on the football field, you know, it, it was an amazing experience, and I was super, super excited for, for it all. Michael, we got the combine coming up in a couple of weeks like on the 26th you'll be on your way to indianapolis have you decided yeah. what you're doing at the combine yet not quite yet. Uh, I know for sure I'll be throwing for sure. You know, uh, as far as like, you know, events and stuff like that, I'm not sure exactly what I'll be doing yet, but I I'll know pretty soon. Well, I want to ask you about one player uh, that you played with. You had a chance to play with three really, really talented uh, receivers there. Uh, but Roma Dunze, one, I've said it, he's, my, he's literally my favorite player in the entire draft. I, I don't know where the weakness is with him, but what was it like playing with him and what would your scouting report be on your wide receiver? Man, it was amazing. You know, obviously, you know, his catch radius is, is crazy. You know, he, he made a lot of big time plays for us this year and our connection, it, it was it was electric, you know, but um, you, you're just going to get a, an amazing guy. You know, uh, the per we always talk about the person over the player. And you know, as a person, man, he's an amazing person. You know, he, he's always going to uh, bring smiles and um, he always have positive energy. And on the field, you know, it doesn't matter uh, what setting we're in. It doesn't matter if it's game day, practice, uh, workouts. You know, he, he's a guy that it's going to go 110 percent each and every time you know even if he's not getting the ball in practice you'll see him on the back side of the play blocking you know making sure uh he's doing great with his technique and just showing his love for the game and you know his love for his teammates as well michael what's this process like because i think anyone out there on the job market knows that getting a job is a full-time job but it is a full-time job for you to get ready for the NFL draft. You go from Mobile to here. I assume you're gonna be at one of the training centers as well, getting ready, and then we get the combine, and then we get the pro days, and then we get the interviews. And like, it is exhausting, this process. How has it been for you? Yeah, um, man, it, it's been a lot of things been going by very fast, you know, but uh, it has been a lot of things, you know, that, that I've been doing. You know, I've been training, you know, in, in Huntington, California with uh, my guys at 3D QB, John Beck and, and the crew, you know, uh, but it's, it's been amazing. You know, um, I, I wouldn't change it for anything. You know, I, I hear a lot of guys, uh, older guys, you know, they're always like, hey, this is going to be the longest year of your life. And uh, I'm starting to feel it already. But, um, <laughs> man, I'm super blessed for it. And um, I, I wouldn't want to be in any other position. So one of the things I love about you, Michael, is you've been through adversity. You know, you had the injuries early on in your career. These last two years, though, you've stayed healthy. You've been able to stay out there on the field. When it comes to durability, is there something that you've learned through your early career that's helped you stay healthy over these last two years? Yeah, um, I'll say just make sure I'm taking care of my body, you know, on and off the field. You know, I'm not saying that whenever I wasn't healthy, you know, I wasn't taking care of my body. But, um, you know, as far as like off season and stuff like that, uh, in my 2022 season before, like once I got to University of Washington, that was actually my first off season that I had, you know, being able to train and uh, go through spring ball and the workouts and stuff with my team, you know, since I, I first got to college. And uh, I feel like that definitely played a big part in it as well. You know, it's just allowing me to be confident in, in my body and uh, 
uh, just going out there, there and just uh, being able to compete each and every day with my team, you know, I feel like that definitely accounted to a lot of the success and um, the confidence that I had this year. Michael, now the business part of this, you're wearing the Sharpie hoodie there. Um, tell me what you're doing with right. them and how many autographs have you signed walking up and down the strip? Yeah, um, I've, I've been signing a few autographs, you know, but, um, man, it's, it's an amazing uh, partnership that I have with Sharpie. You know, uh, specifically, I want to talk about the S-Gel pen, you know, that they have, that we have in this, um, the pen that I'll be using to sign my rookie contracts. And the biggest thing about it that I like is as a lefty, you know, you might get a pen that, you know, it smears uh, on, your, on the back of your hand, you know, it might mess up your autograph a little bit, you know, but with this Sharpie pen, you, you don't get that at all. You know, there's no smear, no smudge, and there's no bleed with this Sharpie pen. And uh, it's a high performance pen that, you know, uh, is used a lot at the professional level and uh, different and different, you know, uh, company companies and stuff like that, you know, but uh, I'm super blessed to be able to be partnered with them. You see, they, they hooked me up, uh, <laughs> partnered with Adidas. They got me this jumpsuit and uh, <laughs> man, it, it's been amazing. It, you mentioned because you're a lefty um, and also in Mobile, people were like, Wow, your hands are huge. What was it, 10 and? 5'8", I want to say. Five eights. Yeah. Michael, can you hold up your left hand, please? Because Brian yeah. Baldinger held up his hands earlier, and they were. <laughs> so let's see. I mean, that is. Yeah, that's a big hand. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. How many Sharpies can you hold? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Penix Jr., UW quarterback, soon headed to the National Football League. Michael, enjoy Vegas. Enjoy this whole process, man. Yes, sir, I will. I appreciate you for having me. Thank you. Likewise. Michael Penix, Jr.